we still don't know where the state number 7 is going so we will find it out for state number 7 first so for state number 7 again tc is equal to qb so qb is equal to 1 so this will be 1 tb is equal to or operation between a and c again it is 1 okay and ta that is qc bar multiplied with so 0 qc bar is 0 0 multiplied anything is 0 so it is 0 so 7 state what will be the next state for 7 depending upon this toggling input so tc will toggle tb will toggle so qc from 1 to it will go to 0 again qb will also go to toggling mode so 0 and ta will copy its present state to next state that is nothing but 1 so from here 7 is going to 0, 0, 001 that is nothing but state number 1 so 7 is going to state number 1 but what i see here that state number 1 is the valid state so this is the valid state okay now but what happens for the uh, state number 5 5 let us find out for 5 for 101 one, tc is equal to qb so it will be 0 tb bar it is tb it is qa plus qc it is 1 and ta is the much qc bar multiplied so qc bar is 0 so whole terminal will be 0 again okay. let us find out where it is going so tc is 0 so qc part will be as it is taken so qc is 1 tb will be toggling 0 to 1 and ta 0 copying 1 as it is to 1 so again number state number 5 is also going to state number 7 so let me check here these are the unused states and these are the used states only once what had happened still we have used the don't care conditions in the truth table what is happening out is here that due to the don't care conditions if the counter appears to be in state 2 it will move to state 7 apparently afterwards in the next clock cycle it will move to the state number 1 which is a valid state for state number 5 also it will take two clock pulses to go to state number 1 if the counter is stuck at state number 7 for that in the very next clock pulse it will go to the used states so for 2 and 5 to return to the clock states or to, to return to the counter mode or the used states 2 and 5 both take two clock pulses okay 7 requires only one clock pulse to get onto the huge states or in the counter back so in this particular problem the bushing technique is not required okay general design itself is making a bushing the bushing action is itself made by the design so that's all about the unused state in the bushing techniques you can always check for the general design where we put next state as a don't care in that case you can always check through this way that what is happening out for the unused states and whether it is going to lock out or not in this particular case it is not going to the lockout conditions and uh, hence the design is design is fine but the problem is that 2 and 5 is taking two clock pulse to go for the valid state and state number 7 is taking only one clock pulse to go into the valid state since that's all about the unused states in the sequential counter okay thank you for watching in five minutes and for more videos and ideas stay tuned to in five minutes